Hey everyone, welcome to Coin Help You. This is Daniel, and today I'm going to show you the Susan B. Anthony dollars that you need to be looking for in your change and in your proof sets. So stay tuned. So thanks for watching my video and like, share, and comment, and click that little bell beside the subscribe button. I want everyone to know that the Susan B. Anthony Dollar was a very short series. It lasted from 1979 to 1981, and they were issued in circulation. They were issued in proof sets, mint sets, and also souvenir sets. And then in 1999, they issued them as well as mint MS coins and also as proofs. And we're going to look at what you need to look for that are valuable within the Susan B. Anthony series. First, we're going to look at the 1979, and this is what you call the wide rim. You can see that the space in between the date, especially the one, and the rim is, is really small. There's a larger space on the normal ones. The wide rim is what you want to look for. They're worth a little more money. They're not extremely valuable. It seems like they're a little more common than I once thought they were. I'm seeing a lot of them. I have a few. The one way to compare these, if you don't have a regular 79 or a, or a wide rim to compare to, the 1980 and the 81s are wide rim. And you'll see the same distance. So you can kind of compare them to learn how to identify these. If you find one in the mint state, you're looking at a coin that can probably sell for 15 to 20 bucks in that range. Um, if they're graded, mint state 66, $40 to $85 in that range. But so that's one thing to look for. Then in the proof sets, you're wanting to look for what they call the clear S or the tight 2S. The S's look kind of clogged. And this is kind of a small image. I'm on my website here. And this one is the clear S. Or some might call it a flat S. Now these are only found in proof sets and they do have a little bit of a premium on them. And like I said, I'm on my website, CoinHelp. Anytime you need to find something, you can go to my website, uh, type in coinoxyshelp.com, come over here in the search bar, type it in, and you can bring up most coin types and values and mint errors. Next is the 1981S and this is proof only and you're looking for the type two. This is what the type one looks like. It has a little bit of a ridge and it's raised. Whereas on the type two, it's flat. So it's not really a clear S. The S is kind of clear already on the type one, but the type two is what you want to look for. You know, these, they can go for upwards of $90 on eBay and in Mint State 69, they're $140. You know, these are all coins that you can still find in proof sets that people overlook. Also the wide rim you can still find in your pocket change, although you'd rather find Mint State examples of that one. So be looking in Mint sets and things like that. But these are coins that, are, that have a little bit of a value. Now, as far as variety is concerned, um, there's one for the 99. It's, there's two of them actually total. But there's a double die for the 1999. I don't have a picture of it. So I'm, I'm banking that the value is not that high on it. But at least it's something to look for. It's the only double die that I know of for the Susan B. Anthony. And then over on Heritage, Susan B. Anthony's that are errors and things like that like this one here struck on a sucker joey a dollar planchet so this was accidentally in 1999 struck on a, a planchet that was intended for a sucker joey a dollar and as you can see that's ten thousand six hundred and thirty seven dollars and then you come over here to the wide rims as you can see the grades depending on the grade how much these are worth and are worth minimal value um, until they get in higher grades it's very difficult to find high grade susan b anthony dollars but you can if you look hard enough um, you can find some decent ones. Most of these are graded 64. Here's an 81D. It's graded 64. Sold for $35. So it's not extremely valuable. Um, if you go over to PCGS website and you look at their values, you can see that for a Susan B. Anthony to really have value to be worth sending off, it has to grade 67. You can see the wide rim is worth you know several grand if it's grade 67. Same thing with all the other dates. But once you get a 66 or below it's hardly worth it unless you can get a plus grade on the uh, 79 wide rim the rest of them are just not worth sending off 
you know, it's not an extremely valuable series. It's fairly easy to get the, put together for a couple hundred dollars to have every date and mint. But anyways, hope that helps you find or hope that helps you learn what to look for in the Susan B. Anthony series. And thanks for watching my video. And like I said, please like, share, and comment, and click the little bell beside the subscribe button. And have a great day.